Wayne Smith here again and what I want to do today is I want to show you a few more operations of the truck. There's two basic areas that I want to show you in this video. One is the PTO and the second is the controls of the truck. Um, what we want to do here is just first thing what is a PTO? A PTO stands for power takeoff. It's usually way too much information but it's usually mounted on transmissions of one's trucks. It's attached to a hydraulic pump that operates everything in the truck. So to gauge the PTO is various ways. On this vehicle it's a switch and you got to apply the emergency brake. Other vehicles, if it's a standard, uh, it could be a pull, a physical pull handle where you actually just pull it up, you push the clutch in, you pull it up, the truck's in neutral. The other one would be an air shift PTO which again usually is on manual transmissions on some of my bigger trucks again you would shove the clutch in and then you would put the truck in neutral and then you would shift the PTO into gear so all three of those are three different ways that that uh, PTOs are typically engaged once you have the, T, the PTO engaged and you're setting still then you can operate all your bed controls so first off on this truck I'm going to open a door so he can look in here but it's pretty straightforward. This has a parking brake. We're going to apply that. This one, the auxiliary four, is the PTO. And again, every truck that you're going to drive is probably a little bit different. But in this truck, that's how this one does. But someone would need to show you, whoever you're working for, is going to need to show you how their PTO engages. And again, it can be electrical like this one is, or a, or a, a knob that you pull up, you push a clutch in, and you pull it up. Or it could be the ones where you push the clutch in and you uh, air shift. It's an air, air operated valve. So that gives you an idea of what somebody says a PTO is. You've got a little bit better idea. You can also hear the PTO engaging. It's making a humming sound that's different than when the truck was just sitting there idling. It's a little bit noisier. Now this is a Jordan bed. Uh, Jordan, the first three are the bed controls, the last three is the underreach on a Sentry, the back three are your bed controls, and the front two are your underreach, just to confuse you. So, my point is, is that every bed you use, whether it's a KLR, a Jordan, a Sentry, a Champion, you need to become familiar with the controls on that truck because they're all going to be a little bit different. But for a Jordan, the, you're going to have one bed that slides the bed backward and forward. You're going to have a bed, a valve or lever that's going to tilt the bed up and down. You're going to have a third one that operates the winch. And again, it's, it's coming out and it's going back in. We're going to tilt the bed back down. You're going to roll the bed back forward. The last two are for the wheel lift. Now we can operate the wheel lift up, up and down here. I said down, I said up and it was going down. And then we can also go in and out with it. And again, you're going to have to become familiar with your controls because typically on a Jordan, up is out, but I've had guys flip the, replace the hose and get them backwards and what was normally an operation is now backwards. So you have to become familiar with your, your piece of equipment and you need to just go out in the back lot if it's your first day and just work with the controls and become familiar with your piece of equipment that you're going to run every day. Again, practice is where it's at. So, again, there's too many combinations. Centuries are backwards from a Jordan. Uh, but whatever one it is, get in the back lot, make yourself familiar with it, commit it to memory. Um, because when you're out there on the side of the road, you, sometimes you can't make mistakes. You've got to know which one it is. So practicing this over and over again and getting it to where you can just feel a handle. I know what each handle does just by rubbing my hand across. I can count them. I know that this one's going to roll the bed back and forward, and this one's going to tilt it. And again, this is, all, this is all stuff that you can do that you should be able to do with your eyes closed. So that gives you a basic idea of your controls and what they do. So this concludes this kind of little instructional video on the PTO and the controls.